Hey everyone, it's Marty from Down the Rabbit Hole Travel. A couple of weeks ago, I shared a video with you about me joining a March Madness virtual escape room challenge and making it through round one. Now I wanna share with you the results of round two, where we played Breakout's game called Museum Heist. How did we do? Stay tuned to find out. To learn more about the actual competition, you can check out the video I made about round one, where I explain it all and I introduce you to my team. I won't rehash it all here. What you do need to know is that my team, CEO, made it to the top six and were able to play in round two in a game called Museum Heist. This whole challenge is hosted by the escape room company called Breakout. Could we finish and escape with a good enough time to move on to round three? Let's find out. See on the screen, my name is Luke, and I'm going to be hosting your game today. My camera will be positioned so you can see the room through my eyes, and I will act as your hands. You're going to be playing your game Museum Heist, which is located here at this location around Boston, Massachusetts. After Luke explained all the rules and we asked our questions, a short video intro played, and the game began. While preparing for a prestigious gallery opening, the curator of the National Museum discovers a painting has gone missing. Upon further investigation, she realizes much of the remaining artwork has been replaced with fakes. In desperation, she hires you as part of a group of former art thieves to aid in their recovery. Your investigation leads to the home of Sir Rupert H. Pembleton, a reclusive inventor and art enthusiast. With only minutes before the gallery opens, will you find the priceless works of art or get caught in Sir Pembleton's traps? You have one hour to recover the artwork and escape before the gallery opens and the world discovers the theft. First, and I'm going to start walking around the room. Okay, what is that? Is that a picture tucked in yeah, there? Can you grab that? You can get to us. Yep, what is that? Mona Lisa. Ooh, piece of something. Keep it. No, that one. Thank you. Can that. you look under the owl, yep. please? Yeah, can Let's we pick look it up? under it and around it. Here we go. Yeah, oh, there's perfect. things. Exactly. Second piece. Okay. Is there anything, anything in the tree? Uh, tree. Got to search the tree. There we go. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Maybe. you got to search the I'm ID. sure there's something in there, too. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be the Mona Lisa, right? Yeah. You know what it looks like? So far. I knew from the hands. We do have a little table here. Okay. Thank you. There is a mailbox as well. We need to look in that. Perfect. Found all the things. Another piece. And it looks like we found the lights. Uh, okay. Light, 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 light message. Light? It does appear to be a black light. All right, we're gonna can, can we put light. the black we're gonna, light We're gonna black light Miss Mona Lisa. Yeah, let's put Mona Lisa together. Yep. A black light message on Mona Lisa led us to find the code for the front door lock and we quickly found ourselves inside Mr. Pembleton's office. Boom. Oh, we got it. Oh boy. Okay, so, give us another 360. Okay. You got it, Andrew. Okay, um, oh, we've got okay. artifact labels. Okay, can we, y'all start taking inventory of the amount of locks. I'm gonna look at these. Okay, there's things. a briefcase. Go through, so we have these two things, both on the inventory page. Those okay. are in a desk with two drawers. One is unlocked, one is locked. They four. Okay, we need to check the unlocked door. We always forget so, to yeah. check the unlocked door. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, beetle. Well, what, what kind of lock is on that other drawer? A four number combination. Okay. Above it is a pretty generic map of the world. Mm -hmm. To the right, Safe? looks like we have this magnet board oh. with one magnet piece magnet here. Board. And the piece we did just find is a magnet piece What's as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is Declaration for Independence. There's a, There's a note on the there. side, also on the inventory page. I need to take a okay. scrabble board. It looks like quite a bit on there. This is all glued down and not moving. Okay, okay. This is locked with a five letter combination. We have, mm -hmm. looks like a bookshelf with a bunch of, well, some artifacts here, but oh. most appear to be missing. And these are yeah. what we came to find there... as part of the story. Drawers. These are above a drawer, which is screwed shut, so we're probably not going to need to get into that. Yeah, briefcase, it yeah. is. Three number lock on each side, so a six number lock in total to unlock this. Six okay. numbers. 
Okay. We have this weird black box on the wall with half symbols, these little mugs that don't spin or move or anything. They really need to plate it on top oh, of it. Oh, there's a lock under that yes. painting. Yep, it is a four number lock. Looks like if this is unlocked, this will swing upwards, revealing something behind it. We have another black box, more symbols, more nubs that don't spin or move. Uh, we have this wooden box with several locks. Looks like we have four numbers, four numbers, and five letters, <laughs> each unlocking a different drawer. And finally, we have a bookcase with a whole bunch of books. Okay. That's everything we're working with. Can we inspect that, look at it? Does it open? Yeah. It doesn't seem to open at all. On the back there, it looks like there's a hieroglyphics of some kind. Um, it could be a magnet. You could stick it on something sure. that might be magnetic. Um, the artifact labels, there's a scarab one. The scarab of Merneptah. Can mm -hmm. we just put it there for now? Yes, we can. Four million. Okay. A couple of important documents sat on the desk. A postcard of gibberish and a note. <laughs> yeah. Okay, also there's a typewriter note and it says a lot of stuff, but at the end it says, the originals we kept safely locked, the combination set to the street number of my first theft in New York. I think that's the most important thing in that. Okay, what can we work with, guys? I'm just gonna pull up, I need to pull up the inventory too. I think that postcard, there's a coded message in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we something, it's super out. weird. Um, can we turn off the lights? Yes, we can. Yeah, do we have light. a black light and with look, us? And look at, look yep, at the map. still have a black light. We need black light. Map. It does appear stuff is appearing on the map. There are three cities that are circled. Hong Kong, Paris, and Philadelphia. All these cities are surrounded by the numbers one through six, and all of them have lines that lead off of them to other numbers around the edge. I have to admit, we got incredibly stuck on this map puzzle. But eventually, Amy figured out what we had to do, and it ended up giving us a combo lock code. Yes! Ooh, good. Okay, put Bobber. Two more magnets! And check all the pockets in the briefcase, too. Thank you, good job. Two more. Next done. Two more. Beautiful. So it's like we got six magnet pieces. Okay. Set revolver. Obviously, put those in place. Yeah. Anything in the revolver? No. Okay. Great. Being a languages girl, the postcard puzzle was right up my alley. Where in a watch? What is that? How are you seeing that? Okay, so Wash, Shag, yeah. Tongue, Washington, and then Delhi. That's Delhi. So these are all places on the map, right? See what I mean? Yeah. Washington. In a watch. Washington. Cruises. Oh. In a in a boat? In a what? what? In a what? A boat. In a, a what? Boat. In a boat. Okay. Oh, is this the Scrabble game? Because boat was on the Scrabble. Okay. What about the numbers? What, what about you the Scrabble tile up? numbers? Boat. Boat. Okay. Oh, okay. What are the numbers on the boat? Is it all ones? Answer denied. How about on the four digit? Yep, I can try that around. I didn't get it there, but I did get it. Yes! Woo! I solved something! <laughs> And then the second puzzle to give us trouble, because we overthought it, had to do with these black square pieces. These black boxes. Can we look uh, at the black box again? Oh, those hang on the... the right. Yeah. That one goes in the top. Top left. Six. We actually figured out the code right away, but then wasted precious time trying to add more to the puzzle than we needed. Face palm moment. That one goes over there. Uh, bottom, bottom right. Bottom right. I think we're overthinking something I don't understand. I, the one thing. <gasps> we're got it. No way. Hey, there we go. Okay, back on track. Footprints I'm in the equation. I'm doing the equation. You guys can leave that alone if you want. Got a key and a footprint. Well, I will. Put that up where it goes. Artifact. That on the thing. Okay. Mm. It looks like an old address book. Can you please right, open, open it? it can, you, can you look for New York? That street address and then use that. There's one page marked. We instantly knew what to do with the street address, as we'd been told in that note on the desk, one of the first clues we'd found. Yes. Hello, we got it. Here we go. Four, one now. Golden okay, dragon. Put that in its place. 
two of the equation pieces. Magnifying glasses, eight. One eight. more map piece. And it looks like we also found four wooden balls with letters engraved into them. I'm going to read these out to you one at a time, okay? Okay. Of course, I'm not going to give this puzzle and its answer away, since I promised Breakout I wouldn't. But Amy knew instantly what the answer was, as she'd made a nearly identical puzzle for one of her escape rooms. What would we do without Amy? I said, I have never had a group get that before I'm done reading them out. Yes! That, that's the second time she's done that, too. <laughs> that one's weird. I've literally they had a, a puzzle just like that. That's okay. so What's our equation? Oh, that was impressive. And now we got... 11. Is 11. Okay, I got the equation. Equation puzzle solved. There right, we go. Right. Can Good we job. lift it up? Ah, another code. It looks like we have a second number pad behind and this. Do we have, we have any idea? Does, how does it say page? anything on the back of the painting? It could take anywhere from two to ten numbers. We do okay. not know. We managed to complete our map of the museum, which gave us a route to follow. This route helped us to decipher a code for the second last lock left in the office. Okay, so there's obviously the, the, there's P's by certain words, and there's also an order in which we go around the map. Here we go. This will give us the order for the cards. Yes? Amy, help me, because I'm nervous and I'm going to Yeah, smoke. I'm looking to. Uh, uh, mine, medicine pot, that's... Answer denied. That's right. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. And can you type in... Answer denied. Lit up green. Yes! Ah, secret door. Oh my gosh. Hey, remember, we still have the Scrabble so, thing. The Scrabble room. thing, yep, thanks. Can yep. you show us the 360 of the room? Yes, I can. So we got this paper clue, weird key sign there, another piece of art, a box locked with a key lock, the final artifact locked with a three number combination, a key inside a glass tube, with a metal plate on top engraved with a circle in it. Right away, I knew what to do with that poster. Okay, this we can use and with some. Centuries um, of inspiration. The clue that just showed up in the inventory we can use for this, I think. Well, because the, uh, these ones are scratched off, so there's four, one, two, oh, and there's only three. Is there a three lock in there? Yep, three, three lock right okay. in there. So we needed to find the Rembrandt, the Picasso, and the Vermeer, so. Yes. You got it. Good job, guys. Is that a drawer right there that it's sitting on? Can we open it? Oh, I just put that down. Oh, something happened. Oh. Okay, a, a key! Yeah, in there. Let's do that off. first. Yes. So, we have this clue here. It is not in our inventory page. Oh. So I'm going to point out to you the bolded words here. It took us a fraction of a second to see the page line word clue and connect it to a book we'd found in the office earlier. This led us to a five-letter word which opened the very last lock left in the office. We got a mad There we go. Where that goes. This was Brad was waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get it. Take that key, open that desk. That? The other key thing. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. All right, open that. Is this all we need? Do we escape? We found the missing Mona Lisa, which held the last clue we needed to escape. On the exit door? How about on exit? Okay. That's all we got left? That is all you've got left. Woo! Oh. 1949 remaining. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh man. Not as good as last time, but that was Looks like you took 40 minutes and 11 seconds. Oh man. I don't know if that's you gonna be like good the enough. For this room is. Uh, the average for people doing this room is yeah. about 56, 57 minutes with like four clues. You guys crushed the average for this room. Well that's good. So you you are still I don't know the times like for this round yet. Mm -hmm. But from the time from last round, you are still in the running. <laughs> Luckily, we were quick enough to make it to round three. So watch for that video coming soon. We will be taking on Breakout's Mystery Mansion next. To make sure you don't miss it, better hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload next. If you enjoyed this video, 
Feel free to like it, share it out on your social media, and leave a comment. Check out my other escape room videos if you just can't get enough puzzles and riddles.